Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will discuss a topic in biochemistry. Where I will explain reactions of amino acids. This is part 1 video. Amino acids are the group of organic biomolecules that possess two oppositely charged functional groups covalently bounded to same carbon atom. These two functional groups are 1. Amino group, which is positively charged. 2. Carboxylic group, which is negatively charged. Amino acid exists as tsvitarion, where amino group gets protonated and carboxylic group gets deprotonated. The amino group and the carboxylic group in the amino acids participate in several chemical reactions, which will be discussed in this video. Reactions of amino acid can be due to involvement of both amino group and carboxylic group, or reactions can be purely due to involvement of carboxylic group, or reactions can be purely due to involvement of amino group. Salt formation with acid and base, and Formation of peptide bond Are the reactions of amino acids due to involvement of both amino group and carboxylic group. Formation of ester Formation of amino acyl chlorides. Decarboxylation and Amide formation. Are the reactions of amino acids purely due to involvement of carboxylic group? Acylation. Benzoylation. Methylation. Reaction with Sanger's reagent. Reaction with HNO2. Oxidative deamination. Reaction with formaldehyde. Reaction with aldehyde. Reaction with ninhydrin. Reaction with carbon dioxide and Byrit reaction. Are the reactions of amino acids purely due to involvement of amino group? In this video I will be describing reactions purely due to involvement of carboxylic group and reactions due to involvement of both amino group and carboxylic group of amino acid. I will start by describing reactions of amino acids due to involvement of both amino group and carboxylic group. The first reaction is salt formation. Amino acids form salts with acid and bases. Amino acid when reacts with acid, such as hydrochloric acid, it forms the chloride salt of amino acid. Similarly, when amino acid when reacts with base, such as sodium hydroxide, it forms sodium salt of amino acid with a loss of water molecule. Now, let's see the second reaction, that is. Formation of peptide bond. The theoretical representation of peptide bond formation shows that when two molecules of amino acid are fused, the amino group and the carboxylic group of two different amino acids reacts with each other and forms a CONH linkage. This linkage formed between amino group and the carboxylic group is called peptide bond. This is the theoretical representation of peptide bond formation. However the laboratory synthesis of peptide bond is not so simple. I will now explain the laboratory synthesis of peptide bond formation between two amino acids. Laboratory synthesis of peptide bond is described here. Amino acid is heated with phosgene, to yield N-carboxyamino acid anhydride. N-carboxyamino acid anhydride, is stable only below 10 degrees Celsius. When N-carboxyamino acid anhydride is heated in dry state, it splits out CO2 and leave out its active residue. Active residue is NH, CHR, CO. This active residues polymerize to form large peptide chain. The image below shows the active residues react with one another and forms a short peptide chain and the linkage between two amino acid, that is the peptide bond is formed. Now. I will explain reactions of amino acids purely due to involvement of carboxylic group. Here the first reaction is formation of ester. The reaction described, shows the formation of amino acid ester. In the reaction, amino acid reacts with alcohol in presence of dry HCl, to give corresponding ester. HCl first breaks up xvitarion structure to form amino acid hydrochloride. Amino acid hydrochloride then reacts with alcohol. The ester hydrochloride is decomposed by mild alkali in cold to give free ester. Both, free amino acids and their esters are readily reduced by lithium-aluminium hydride, 
dissolved in ether to the corresponding alcohols without reionization. Carefully see the reactions to understand the mechanics. Now, I will explain the second reaction that is formation of amino acyl chlorides. The reaction described, shows the formation of amino acyl chlorides from amino acid. The amino acid is first acetylated for protection. Acetylated amino acid is then treated with PCL5. The acetyl group may be removed by treatment with HCl. The amino acyl chlorides exists at hydrochloride salts. Carefully see the reactions and the intermediates form to understand the mechanics of reaction. Now, I will explain the third reaction that is decarboxylation. The amino acid when heated in presence of barium hydroxide or diphenylamine, carbon dioxide is lost and amine is formed. Decarboxylation of histidine is shown in below, where it gets converted to histamine. Now, I will explain the fourth and the last reaction that is amide formation. The amino acid amides may be prepared by treatment of amino acid esters with alcoholic or anhydrous ammonia. The starting compound for this reaction is amino acid ester which is formed from amino acid. The formation of amino acid esters is described earlier in this video. Which when treated with alcoholic or anhydrous ammonia yields amino acid amide. Carefully see the reaction to understand the mechanics of reaction. In my next video I will explain the reactions of amino acids exclusively occurring by the involvement of amino group. For more information on amino acid structure and properties, see my previous videos. Links to these videos are provided in the description. Stay tuned to my channel. References used to prepare this video are given here. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you for watching my video. This video is prepared by Dr. Dwaypayan Goswami.